So this is the new Govardhan Retreat Center. Uh, we came in October 10th. Uh, this is the opening today. Such an auspicious, wonderful event. <laughs> Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Ram Rama, Hare Hare. Mahananda. Wow. <laughs> in in case you wondered, this was Indra and his people. Who, uh, whom we had requested to stop uh, the rain <laughs> and not repeat the same mistake <laughs> which gave great trouble to Indra. Mm. Uh, Mahananda, which is like a fish hook that captures the fish of Shimati Radharani's heart and mind. This is the Mahananda flute. You said it's very long. Yes. The name is because it's a Maha. Yeah, it's, it's <laughs> Maha. It's Gives a Maha. Ananda. Flute, yeah. Maha Ananda. Maha Ananda. Ananda. Yeah, you, you can see. Uh, uh, an is the smallest of the residential buildings. It has six rooms and it's named after a small flute. Now, none of you will be able to guess the name that has, it has six holes in it. I didn't say it yet. So this building, your new name is <laughs> Venu.
director of devotion. <laughs> Venu, this is a very small flute, not more than six inches long. Now, six inches, how much is this? Is it like this mobile telephone? Yes. Uh, should we ask Google? Comments are, are, are away, are falling away. So this is a very small flute, not more than six inches long. Now, note Prabhupada's very nice description, with six holes for whistling. <laughs> Uh, there is maybe one second. We have something more. Yeah, Krishna uh, uses the Venu flute to to attract the gopis, like you can find in the shloka. Uh, do you remember the shloka in the morning? Mohan Rupa remembers. Kandarpa Koti Kamaniya Vishesha Shobha Govinda Mahi Purusham Tamaham Bhajami Thank you so much. Uh, already in the clouds over there. <laughs> Um, so this building is very, very, very famous, the name of this building. And this building is also very famous, the name. So this building over here, I'll give you a hint. And Krishna plays this made out of bamboo. Oh. <laughs> Your name, building, my dear building, <laughs> is Vangsi. Would you like to say something about Vangsi? Yes. Mm -hmm. This is about 15 inches long. So this is significantly longer than we would make a measurement, although we can't measure transcendence, uh, but this again, one, wait a minute, oh, I'm not so good in mathematics. Uh, if this, Krishna would play on any of these flutes when they were needed. Krishna used the Venu flute, as we heard, to attract the gopis, and he used his Vangsi flute and every other flute in a uh, uh, let us say, in, whenever it is needed. For instance, he had a flute which was made of leaves, or he has a flute, he uses a flute made of leaves, which uh, amazingly has a long range effect. It can really cross kilometers. Uh, or the, again, we can't measure uh, a branch. Uh, so, um, yes, this is. Uh, the Wangsi float. Now, the next building. You to tell our building the name in a moment. But Krishna, he has about a hundred flutes when he goes out with the cowherd boys. He has about a hundred flutes and he has <clears throat> servants who carry these flutes with them. Yes, Raktak and Paktrak. And he has a cupboard even for his flute. It's called the flute cupboard. <laughs> <laughs> How do you say that in German? Uh, das, der Flötenschrank. <laughs> he yeah. has a Flötenschrank. Yeah. Yes, yes, okay. Okay. And, um, and the boys become so expert because they're expert servants. Christian, no, he has, he uses different flutes for different occasions. 
So the boys become so expert, so they know, oh, this is, he wants to call the cows, or he wants to call the brother gopis. So they give him the exact flute that he requires. Some flutes are made out of diamonds, even, and jewels, and gold, and silver, and, and bamboo. But they all have one thing in common, and that thing that they have in common is the name of this building. It is all attractive. The flutes, this flute is all attractive, and it is called a carcini. sometimes made out of gold. And uh, it is described in the Shema Bhagavatam, as Krishna comes home from the pasturing grounds, he will play his flutes in such a way that even the devatas uh, who reside in the heavenly planets and the upa devatas, that means not the main devatas, the subordinate devatas, they will come down and be on the left and right side of the path which Krishna takes. And as Krishna comes by, uh, they are greedy for one substance. Could you imagine what the devatas are greedy for? It is the dust which is stirred up by Krishna's moving. Why does Krishna move? Then he dances in various attractive ways. And the cows have also come after him. Um, is it? No, they go before him when Krishna returns. Uh, then uh, these cows uh, are... Mm -hmm. <laughs> Um, yeah, it's wonderful, especially because there's Pasadam being served there. And just behind it is a very wonderful modern a um, fully equipped kitchen. Bravo! Bravo! And above here is the cafeteria restaurant. Bravo! So, um, and I also want to introduce, yes. This is, this is our um, expert cook today. Bravo! He's a disciple of His Holiness Gopal Krishna Maharaj. And he's given, the, given him the name Burijan. <laughs> and one time I, I, was in, I went to Mangalore and, the, and His Holiness Gopal Krishna Maharaj had a big retreat in Udupi. And Maharaj invited me to come. So I came right at the very end. Right at the very end. And I gave a, a, a class and there were like thousands of devotees thousands of devotees sitting out there. And, um, and then after my class, um, they be, the, uh, the MC began speaking in Hindi and said, I can understand, thank you, Burijan. And I understood, thank you, Burijan, for giving the class. Then for the next 10 minutes, thank you, Burijan, for doing this, and thank you, Burijan, for doing this, and it was all in Hindi. Thank you, Burijan, for doing this, and thank you, Burijan, for doing this, and thank you, Burijan, for doing this. And I thought, they're very so polite here. I gave them a 20-minute class, and they're thanking me so much. And then I understood who is managing the entire thing. And it, and um, then I understood he's real Burijan, and I'm duplicate Burijan. <laughs> <laughs> naturally, naturally, I have so much affection for this one. <laughs>
and the name of the building. <laughs> yes. <laughs> no, not for it. <laughs> it's Giriraj Prasadam Dining Hall. I expected ladders to fall from the sky. <laughs> what is the name of this building? We're not going. Did you want to say something? Oh, you about Prasadam. <laughs> Everyone knows about Prasadam. Mohini. Mohini ki jai. Turn your head and tell her. Mohini ki jai. Always be decked with jewels. Uh, you have seen. Uh, when at the end of Krishna's flute, there is sometimes a trunk of an elephant which is lifted up as if the sound wants to go or needs to go a long distance and there's things are hanging uh, there on the flute. So when Krishna plays this flute, he will look with his left and with his eyes which go to the left and right side to the devotees uh, almost as if thinking, see that, hear that, what I just played. Uh, and uh, calling for an affectionate and uh, admiring response, so to say. Good. So this was Samohini flute. I just wanted to uh, say uh, two things. I Kirtan and Kata. So right now what we're going to do... Everyone. This movement is not a sectarian movement. And you, it was so strong, the you, and you can become Krishna conscious in suit and tie. Suit is a German dress, you know. Uh, tie is what they have around the neck. Mm -hmm. Are you satisfied? No one had ever spoken like this to my father. <laughs> he was in the German army, Hitler army. He had become a well-established man in German society. And he was someone who told him he was a fool. I still remember my father. He said, yes, I'm satisfied. And then Papa said, now sit down. <laughs> <laughs> so he sat down. And now the speciality is that my father did not become angry. Yes, he has an ego, but he could understand it's time to bow down to a superior person, a superior intelligence. And up to the last moment, last visits, the very last visit we had, he was a little elderly. He could not remember all so much. But before that, he always remembers, your Prabhupada is wonderful. Mm. Uh, so, yes, so yesterday, uh, we had heard, I received the phone call, that he has left the body. I'm very old, 96 years, too old, too old, yes, he, he wanted to leave the body, he had said, I want to now die, he knew and believed he's eternal, um, and uh, he, uh, yes, left. So, uh, I have this photo.
He's requesting all the devotees that they can take a moment and then they will pray for his father that he gets him. Uh, he goes upward and closer to the ultimate destination. Uh, and thus, Krishna wants to be so kind that he brings them to that ultimate destination immediately. So if you could all kindly satisfy Maharaj, who has his father is quite an amazing soul. He donated two sons, his only two sons, to Krishna. And um, such a fortunate soul. So please take a few moments and, and pray for him. Please. Moments for teachers is essential, for they will help fulfill the project's essence by causing the buildings to resound with kirtan and Krishna guitar. We otherwise will have created form with no content, a body who lacks soul. We therefore request the kind devotees. And Shandam, we just read them with one Hare Krishna Hare Krishna, 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 Hare Hare, Hare Hare. How much time, but 
developing a vision. And I could see that he had a very deep vision, a vision to, uh, to somehow or other engage people deeply in, in studying Srila Prabhupada's books. And he started the VIG, which grew out into something that really rejuvenated the world. In, uh, in 1995, I had an intense experience in Vrindavan. I was shot and it was, uh, it was Burijan who took me to the hospital and actually uh, arranged for blood transfusions uh, to save my life. So I owe him my life. And he gave me. Then, in the years following that, received sannyas and uh, and I came to Germany and there was such a young Maharaj who said, Bairagi Bai, you know, and he welcomed me with so much friendship that I felt like really touched and I took it like that. And for so many years we preached together in that in these European countries, Germany and so on and I know both Guri Chan Prabhu and Sachinam Maharaj as, as very thoughtful, very thoughtful people who are strategic. They are both very strong in vision and are thoughtfully thinking of how to rejuvenate this movement and how to strengthen it. So I was not surprised when they found each other and, and, and started something here in Raj. I know Guri Jan is a resident. I know Sachinanda Maharaj also is a resident of Raj. And so the two uh, came here to go Vrindavan. And then, as you see, uh, from that vision, uh, miracles started to happen. And of course, uh, this project is is meant for us. It is meant for not only uh, the founders of this project, they are the founders, but they are elderly. Right? It is meant for the future. It is meant for all of you to carry on. It, as Gurijan took me here, a few speaking, I feel myself like a crow. Now when they speak so nicely, so softly, and I am so rough, in my presentation, not so good also. So, in fullness, Satyananda Maharaj was selling, I had very close association with very close from Kanai Naksala. I remember, I remember, in early days, I joined ISKCON. We had one program in Puri, right up to Gorpuna Festival, under the leadership of Hadiso Yutabhu. Many Western devotees have gone to Puri. And as you know, Puri people are very allergic to Western devotees. Very allergic. <laughs> and we were having a program in front of Singhadra, a lion's gate. And I, 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 somebody was giving, uh, they were speaking in English, and I translated to Oriya because I am from Puri, I was translating. And Puri Panda got very angry. I am trying to Christians, why? You know, they think they are Christians. So at one point, they are pulling me out of the stairs. You Panda? Maharaj Alam Samkhya pulling me back, you know. <laughs> I remember what the Maharaj remember and I don't know. And uh, then Maharaj was guarding me to head of the hotel and Dharamasala was staying. Since then, I know Maharaj <coughs> and also his, his grace Burijan Prabhu. Uh, I have an internal long-term relationship. Once I met him, passing down, Burijan Prabhu, as I was telling, I feel so sad. How did you get stuck with some placement? <laughs> How did you get out of that? <laughs> and all of you know what it is to be a member of the GBC in this country. You know, very tough. So I feel my spiritual life is flourishing and sustaining because of the love and affection of these great personalities. So I'm very grateful to them. And in regards to Vrindavan, this Giriraj retreat, I have received two times uh, invitation from Prasanta Mataji 
Please come speak in Raya Ramananda, Dr. Haithin, so that how can this be for third person, always avoided. So today, incidentally, I have come here with the 2,000 devotees from Mayapur, I was coming down to the building, and I saw Kadam Karna Maharaj. So here I am going, I am going for a retreat. I thought some retreat happening at the other year, and I said, no, no, that big event taking place. It's very good, but I was coming to Govardhan, at the right goal of Sartan. Especially, he said, Maharaj Sar, they are Satchananda Maharaj, Vedanta Maharaj, Vedanta over a long time I have not seen. It's great opportunity to see them, and it's great ecstasy to come and meet at them. So on the way when I was coming, uh, I have heard this retreat. I have great respect for this project, or not this project, this whole endeavor. But I have one thing come to my mind, what this is, what is this place, what is this retreat concept? So I was feeling some, just like Bhagavatam says, Nigama Kalpataru Dalitam Phala. Our Iskan is like Nigama Kalpataru, like a beta. In beta, what not is there? Everything is in beta. So Iskan is like that, everything in uh, Iskan. But this retreat is like Vedartaru Dalitam Phala. It's like the ripe and sweet and fruit of beta and Iskan. And how we have my heart manifested here. So all of us have to take advantage. Muhuraha, Rasika, Bhuribhavutaha, the great intelligent people will take advantage of this place and release the essence of uh, Islam society which has manifested here. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. The VIET is carrying on what Prabhupada gave us. When I was Pujari in Calcutta Temple, we had a lady who was an Israeli soldier, and we had a man who was a Palestinian soldier, both in the same temple. And uh, and, they, and, they, and they, you know, they were kind of exchanging what they had to go through. But it was so amazing, it was an impossible thing. And it, when, I, when I first started these retreats, it was like, I think 2001, 2002, I was a Pujari and we had Iranian devotees and Israeli devotees working together to make a temple to help in the Pujari Seva, which was also impossible at that time because they were fighting these two countries. So I see that um, the IHG is bringing the whole world together. And this is something that is um, predicted, it is, it, it is happening, and the IHG is fulfilling this prediction. So Prabhupada used to say, impossible is a word in a fool's dictionary. But um, if you have a desire to do some devotional service, nothing can stop you. So they had the desire to reach on for doing such an Swami, and, and their dream came true. So Bhagavatam says, that nothing can stop you if you have some spiritual desire, a desire to serve Krishna. So we should never give up on your desire. Keep trying, and Krishna will definitely fulfill your desire. Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, and what is so much from the different kundas of the Govardhan area? Sorry, they, what they are saying? Okay, I don't know what they are saying. <laughs> it's so nice to hear. Let's look at that. So the water is coming from Radhakun, from Shantan, from Bodhakun, from Nalakun, from Udhakun, from Subhikun, from Yagodhan. And special thanks to Mitra Madhari Shikun, from Mayapur, Ganges Water, and then from Pavan Sarova, and then from Suryakun. So we have a lot of people who are here.
But Gopal has just put a Govardhan. So just be careful, Gopal. This Govardhan should not fall down. Give na pade, Gopal. Give na pade. And we are giving you a lot of eating stuff. So you get strength. So be careful. It should not fall down. सर्वप्रथम जो पूजा की है और कृष्ण के कहने पर 
श्री गिरिराज जी की पूजा की है ब्रजवासी सो दे स्टार्ट बाय श्री गिरिराज बाय श्री कृष्ण जी तो जो गोवर्धन पर्वत है वही कृष्ण का ही स्वरूप है सो व्हाट वी सी इज द गोवर्धन हिल इज द फेस ऑफ कृष्ण अब आप पद श्रवण करें प्लीज